this is Cartman Productions, and today we are going to be looking at one of these, I believe they're from Costco, uh, three packs of Pokemon tins. Now, I know these are pretty outdated, and we're already up to, like, the release of Sword and Shield and stuff, but I figured we'd take a look at them. So we got Tapu Koko one there, we got a Marshadow, and a Ho-Oh. So this is going to be a three-part video. Um, I'll probably have uh, text pop up on the screen telling you where each one is. So if you want to go see just one of the tins, you can. Uh, but I'll be opening these all in, in this video. So anyways, let's get started. Alrighty, so as you can see, I pulled out the Tapu Koko tin. We're going to take a look at it. Yay. Figured I'd grab scissors this time because I always spend like a solid five minutes opening these dang things. <laughs> Right, there we go. Turn it open. Now, I do believe I have a couple of these tins already. There's the back if you want to pause it and read it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have a few of these tins. I have the Tapu Bulu and Coco tins already, but I'm not sure if I have this specific one. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. And because I got it in a pack, so first we're going to pull this out. Nice Tapu Coco card. Promo SM33, so pretty dang early. So yeah, I, I probably don't have this one, but um, yeah, there we go. There is a, uh, no, it's not there, it's, it's right here, right in front of me. Code card, right there. And then we have multiple packs here. We had a Guardians Rising, two of them, and Evolutions and a Steam Siege. So I am going to go ahead and uh, take these two and save them because I've started saving all the XY packs. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save these. Um, but we will be opening these. Anything Sun and Moon and Newer will be opening. And I would assume that that's the same as all the packs in there. And then what I'll probably do is I'll go back later on, like in a couple of years, and uh, do some XY ones. Um, later on when they're actually, you know, decently old packs. But, for now, we're going to stick with Sun and Moon. So, first Guardians Rising pack, that's Tapu Koko Art. The other one's a Lycan Rock Midnight form. A bit rusty on my Pokemon. I haven't been doing a lot of Pokemon stuff for a while. I've mainly been working on go cards and stuff, so I haven't really had a chance to do that. Which, by the way, I should put out a video. Uh, by the way, you... They probably saw it. The uh, new trailer. Ooh. Ooh. If you don't know the white code card uh, from, I believe it's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Evolutions, XY Evolutions and up. If it's white like this, it's good. If it's green, which will undoubtedly get a green one here with my luck. Um, and I didn't get the pack trick right. No, I missed one. Four. <laughs> All right, so we got a Fairy Energy, a Sudowoodo, Mallow, I don't get to see anything back there, Energy Recycler, Gumi, Slowpoke, Mudbray, Dillbird, Wishy Washy, Reverse Hall of a Beldum, and the rare is a Gudra Hollow, which is pretty nice. These two I'm going to set off to the side, we'll take a look at those later. At the end of the video, I'll go through all the pulls, so... And then right here, we got a Midnight Form art. Now the pack art, uh, as far as I know, does not affect the pulls that you get out of the packs. It's purely aesthetic. It's like you're, oh, so much for protecting the pack, huh? <laughs> I try to open them on the top like I did that other one, but uh, as you can see, I didn't exactly do a very good job there and there's a green code card if you don't know what that looks like so essentially the white ones uh mean you'll get a at least a hollow if not you'll get like a gx or a full art trainer or something so at least a hollow or better now is four yes okay it's four over all right so we got a rock type energy field blower got the rita sableye trubbish machop Lowland Geodude, Mudbray, Lowland Sandshrew. First Hall of Garbodor, which is actually rare. And rare of Oricorio. And I probably butchered that. Uh, 
pronunciation, but whatever. All right, on to the next ten. We have Marshado. Pretty noise. Now this one I'm fairly certain I don't have. Although, I may be wrong. I have a lot of cards. It's, it's hard to keep track after a while. I've got, I think I had like 2,000 different ones. And then some person traded me another 5,000. Or I, no, I had 3,000. That's right, I had 3,000 different ones. And somebody traded me 5,000 more. And uh, I haven't gone through them yet, so maybe I can go through those later. But Marshadow GX10. Um, the back should be the same as the other ones, but, I mean, you can pause and read it if you want to. Um, actually, I think it's different, but whatever. So, good old Marshadow GX. I'm pretty sure this one's newer. Yeah, this is 59 instead of, like, 30-something, so. Um, very nice. Sorry, I didn't really get a very good close-up of that, I don't think. All right, so we got Burning Shadows. <clears throat> Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, and Evolution. So as I said, Evolutions, any, anything XY I'm going to set off to the side and keep in the pack for a later video, but we'll do these guys. So, Burning Shadows. Um, I'm pretty sure, no, it's not this one, it's other ones. I have quite a bit of these ones. I don't have very many, like, Crimson Invasion or anything like that. I have no Hidden Fates or Cosmic Eclipse cards, um, but I have a crap ton of other ones. Right, so there's green code, sadly. I'm not showing the codes yet, because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet. But if I don't end up using them, I'll do like a code reveal video or something like that. I don't know. Right, so, Fairy Energy, Porygon 2, Weakness Policy, Simisage, Cra Crab Brawler. I'm butchering these names today. Sneasel, Venipede, Horsey, Cutifly. Reverse Hall of a Venipede, and the rare is an Electrovire. Pretty sure I have most of those. Actually, I'm fairly certain I have most of those. Alright. Yay! Butchered the pack again. Good job, me. I am, like, so awesome at opening packs. You have no idea. I'm kidding. Right. Yeah, better than that one. Alright. No, 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 we don't get to see that yet. You know, I'm just getting great luck here. Might get a rare reverse holo. Don't have, you might know. You never know. Anyways, um, Water Energy, Bouffalant, Simapore, Noctowl, Cutie Fly, Panseer, Magikarp, Alolan Radida, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow of a Turtonator, and I said it, we got a rare reverse holo. And uh, rare flea down. Fun fact, a, I believe it was like Heart Gold Soul Silver series, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Lee Dan, that was my first Pokemon card ever. Friend, friend gave it to me when I was younger and uh, started collecting Pokemon. Alright. If I can get the dang pack open. Gosh. Uh, no, I, why do I always pull these out backwards? Lovely, another green coat. Okay, so nothing really super good in this tin here. Um, but we have a Fletchender, Sligu. I didn't do it right, did I? Nope. All right. Well, Metal Energy, Fletchender, Sig Sligu. <laughs> but where? Litwick, Gligar, Vanillite, Mudbray, Sandlit, a Reverse Hollow of the Pseudo Wudo, and a Lilligant. Alright, that's it for next uh, this 10. On to the next one. We've got the Ho Oh GX10. Scissors can do anything. Yes, I know these are kitty scissors. Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Now, this one, pretty dang sure. I do not have. Don't mind the background noise. Anyways, so here we have the Ho-Oh 10. 
Hello card. Sorry, I am not thinking today. I'm tired. So we have the SM. That's SM57. Okay, so this is... Oh yeah, this is the same series as the other one. The Mars Shadow. So we should get the same cards, hopefully. Code. As I said, I'll show those later. And, yep, same packs. And, of course, we're going to set the XY one aside for later. So... Let's start out with this whole -oh packaging. One eternity later. Two, all right. <laughs> um, okay. And this time I will pull it out the right direction so you don't get a peek. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So we have a rock type energy, a Sviper, Rotom Dex, Scape Rope, Pantsage, Esper, Sock, Noi Bat, Stuffle, Reverse Hollow of Charmeleon, and a Zygarde Hollow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully we continue with some last tin magic, if that's a thing. Don't think it is, it's only with packs. If you watch Lionheart, you know what I'm talking about. Alrighty. Oh, come on. Oh, I still got one back, so. We have a fairy energy. A heat more weakness policy, Potown, Esper, Pikachu, Noibat, Dupiter, Tangela, Reverse Hall of Sock, and the rares in Electros. Ele Electros. <laughs> if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong, please call me out on it in the comments because I'm sure I pronounce some of these wrong. Alrighty. <clears throat> Come on. What is up with these packs today? Gosh. It's because my nails are pretty short. Right, there we go. Oh, come on. It's all right. Okay, so we have a Fairy Energy, a Altar of the Sun, Lowland Graveler, Mallow, Patcham, Snornut, yeah, I said that right, Cast Form, Vanillite, Murkrow, Gumi, was the Reverse Hollow, I cannot talk today, and Swellow. So that's it for this 10. Now on to the overall polls of the day. Alrighty, so in this 10 here, we had a rare reverse hollow of Garbodor, a reverse hollow of Beldum, and a hollow Gudra. Then in the Marshadow 10, which is this guy, we got a reverse hollow pseudo Ludo, a rare reverse hollow Turtonator, and just an ordinary reverse. Benipede. And last but not least, we have a reverse Gumi, a reverse Sock, a reverse Charmeleon, and a hollow Zygarde, which this is a pretty nice one. I don't think I have that, that guy yet. So that brings our total toll to, oh, what is it? Two hollows and two rare reverses. Yep. Two hollows and two rare verses. So, this is Cartman Productions. I'll see you in the next one.